Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Quick Revise. This is 5 minute DT revision and this is manufactured boards. For your exam you will need to know about different types of manufactured boards and the properties. There could be well be questions on manufactured boards. This is for all exam types. Here are some of the manufactured boards you need to know. Plywood, chipboard, MDF. If you know about these three, you've got a good chance of being able to answer questions on manufactured boards. What are manufactured boards? They are timber products that are created in factories using wood or trees as the raw material. They are then processed into manufactured boards. Why do we use manufactured boards? Manufactured boards are produced as large flat boards. Natural timber is limited by the size of the trees. And we're just going to have a look. We can see here manufactured boards are available in large sheet sizes. Okay, you can see here MDF, chipboard and plywood. And you can see the large sizes that the sheets are available in. Being made available in large sheets, this means that large individual products can be cut from a single sheet. And you can see there we've got a large product here that can, is, is being cut from single sheets or multiple items can be tessellated and cut. So the advantage of having these large sheets is you can make large single products or you can cut, as you see there from a CNC machine, you can cut out multiple items. They can be tessellated and cut out. Manufactured boards are also consistent. Consistent means they are free from faults such as splitting or warping. So we've got a split there in some natural timber and we've got warp natural timber. We're just going to have a look a bit more closely at this now. Okay, faults in timber. So here, on this piece of tree here, you can see a split. That goes down there, you can see clearly there it's split in the grain. Here you can see the grain on a piece of timber and a knot. That is where a branch grew out of the tree. That is another fault in timber. This piece of hardwood against the steel ruler, you can see there is a bow. It also twists, so that is warping. If you look at manufactured board, in contrast, manufactured board is consistent. It is a consistent material. It doesn't have the grain as a smooth finish, and it doesn't twist or warp. That is consistency of manufactured boards. Advantages of manufactured boards. During manufacture, the whole of the tree is used and there is very little waste. Also, you can see there that slightly smaller trees can be used because the, the, the overall size isn't so important. The trees are harvested and processed in factories. The trees are debarked and the rest is processed into manufactured board. So they use the whole of the tree. Why do we use manufactured boards? Some manufactured boards have a smooth surface which can be painted to produce a high quality finish or have laminate bonded to it to create durable hard wearing projects like kitchen worktops. So here we can see a chipboard worktop with a laminate finish, a waterproof laminate finish. That doesn't need finishing. And here we can see MDF paneling. MDF has a smooth, smooth consistent um, finish which is really ideal for painting without very much further um, preparation. Manufactured boards are engineered products. So because they're made in a factory, they are available in a range of exact size and thicknesses. So if you, for example, if you have six millimeter thickness MDF, you can measure it, it will be consistently six millimeters thick. This makes them ideal for CNC machining to manufacture flat pack furniture. Manufactured wood products can produce timber with enhanced properties, which is stronger and more suited to engineered buildings and structures. Glue lamb. Glue lamb is pieces of softwood laminated together with very strong glue, and that can result in very long beams with very, again, consistent strength characteristics. Much more consistent than, say, a, a wooden beam. Types of manufactured board. So as I've said before, for your exam, you will need to know about different types. We're going to look at some of these types. I've already shown you these three, and we're going to look at these a little bit more in detail. Plywood. Plywood is made from layers of thin wood glued together. It can be waterproof. It has a good strength to weight ratio. It is available in large sheets, and it will not twist or warp. 
And you can see there in this image here, the edge of plywood, and you can see these different plies, the grain going one way and the other way. And you can see this in this illustration here, we've got the grain on one layer, then the grain on the other way. This, is, this gluing at 90 degrees gives plywood a very strong, often with waterproof glue, and it makes a very strong and non, it won't warp material. So a waterproof grade of plywood can be used for things like boats. MDF. MDF is medium density fiberboard. It is manufactured from fine wood flour, so it has a fine surface finish. So it's ideal for painting, and it's also, as we've said before, available in boards of consistent thicknesses. But MDF is not water resistant, and it's used for things like flat pack furniture. And you can see an image there. Chipboard. Chipboard is made from coarse chips of wood, much coarser than the MDF, so it's got that coarse grain. The wood is pressed together with glue, but it is a very low cost material. Again, it is not waterproof. And you can see the coarser texture there. It's a much coarser and it's a lower cost material. Try and avoid using the word cheap in the exam. Use low cost. Hardboard, another low cost manufactured board. This is a low grade board made from wood fibers and resin glue. It's used for things like here, and you can see in this relatively low cost furniture, it's used for the draw base. So that is hardboard. Glue lamb. Glue lamb is made by gluing and laminating softwood battens into a structural beam. This can produce long structural beams and joists of almost unlimited length. And you can see how this is done with the joint staggered so that every joint doesn't line up. If you've got this amount, you won't have any more than two lined up. Ideally, you can stagger all the joints. And this makes the, the glue lamb very strong and you can just keep joining on wood. So sustainability. Manufactured boards are better for the environment as the whole tree can be used when manufacturing products such as chipboard. So they just knock the bark off, everything else goes in. Very sustainable because they can use the whole tree. Manufactured boards generally almost universally use timber from managed forestry. So if it's these can be smaller, faster growing types of tree. They obviously come from managed forestry. This makes them very sustainable. All of the timber project, including manufactured boards that we use in schools, are sourced from managed forestry. What does managed forestry mean? It means that as one tree is cut down more, or harvested, many more trees are planted. That way, the total area of the forestry is always increasing. Even though you're cutting the trees down, you're increasing it. This is the FSC mark and it indicates that the boards carrying it originate from managed forestry. This is something you need to know from the exam, the FSC mark. That was manufactured boards. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, if you found this helpful and you're not really already subscribed, please subscribe, please like, it really helps me build the channel. Thank you for watching.